Chickamauga Battlefield registration. This race is brought to us by the Chattanooga Track Club running the scenic city. <laughs> State number 11, we got this. What's up, Run 50 States My Way? It's Ashley and Ryan, and we are here for state number 11 in Chickamauga, Georgia, at Packet Pickup, which is at a local church. And there is some merchandise, which is great. It's actually chilly. So we've got some hoodies, really nice. Hoodies are 30. We've got beanies, which are 20. Hats, glasses, a blanket, arm warmers. Bunch of different great stuff. Ooh, and all of the hoodies are out to look at. Oh, I like the gray one. I might have to get a hoodie, but we need to get our packet first. We came in the wrong way. <laughs> we needed to go that way. Oh well, we're gonna go down the hill. Here's some other really great merch, which we'll check out in a second. But we're gonna go inside the church and check out packet pickup. Yay! I have a number, I'm official. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, perfect. And the 5Kers get a t-shirt, which is actually really cute. It looks like it's a soft cotton, which is always nice. Oh, and I get a cup, which is awesome. Have you throw that in there for me? Thank you so much. And a mug. Yay! Perfect, thank you so much. Found his bib, he's official, he's registered, he counts. Count? There's no turning back now. <laughs> I can't do the marathon and the 5K, you know, count. You know. There's a, he can't do that, they're at the same time. <laughs> I have run into the race director this year who is doing an absolutely amazing job. This is Michelle. Hi everyone. Michelle, super excited. Yes, looking forward to race day. Run 50 States My Way. The video will be epic. We're going to be on the battlefield celebrating our veterans, Veterans Day weekend, all of those who have served and getting with a little bit of history. Ryan's ready. Yeah. We have the marathon course. We're ready. And I'm ready for my 5K state number 11, Georgia. We're going to rock it out. Yes. And we have made it to the Chickamauga Battlefield National Park Visitor Center. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and comment down below if you have ever visited this national park. Meanwhile, we're going to go get another stamp. the battlefield and this is where the marathon is going to be taking place cool. so here is the gift shop store lots of different books and movies we did just get a guide map and there is a walking tour not a walking tour um you can walk around the battlefield but there is a driving tour with six different stops or no it's eight different stops the stop i want to check out which is the tower is at that number six you can dial a number and it tells you all about the different things at that stop but you can also walk the battlefield so there's a number of ways that you can see the chickamauga battlefield oh little toy soldiers those are cute. We are on the lookout for two very important things, a stamp and I see it, an ornament. <laughs> Perfect. We found our ornament. We found our sticker book, <laughs> which Ryan found. Oh my gosh. And there's like all of them. 
and a whole bunch of different things inside of here. Little toy cannons. A lot of books. And then I'm always a big fan of the jun Junior Rangers and the different activity books that you can find. All right, we found it. It's right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, sounds like a plan. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. And there it is. Plus, we are going to be getting our stamp to put in our book. another stamp in the passport. So the visitor center does close at 5 p.m. and the National Park Battlefield is open until dusk which is right between 5:30 and 6. We got our stamp, we got our ornament, and now we're going to go check out the museum. Inside the museum So when you come to this national park, there's actually two locations. One is on Lookout Mountain on the Chattanooga side, which is the Tennessee side. And that's where you can visit that battlefield point place, or no, Point Park is what it's called, Point Park. And then on this side is the Chickamauga, Georgia battlefield. So we are right on the border of Tennessee and Georgia. Oh, wow. This is a traveling forge. Ah, so that's what it starts, this little video thing. Again, here's the battlefield. <clears throat> this visitor center stands alongside the historic Lafayette Road. In 1963, the road was the main route between Lafayette, Georgia to the south and Chattanooga, Tennessee to the north. In the early of the battle, the road ran west of Chickamauga Creek and then through a narrow gap in the middle of the road. So, going back to this video, they're actually showing how you shoot and how you load the guns. All of the different steps that it takes to load the rifle. And back here, you kind of see the evolution of the rifle. Wow. So this tree right here was taken from the battlefield and it testifies to the ferocity of the projectiles that flew between the lines. <laughs> so they're literally cannonballs that are embedded into the tree. That is crazy. So on the other side of the museum, and this is the temporary exhibit in the theater, and the theater currently is closed. Got a nice timeline talking about different key figures. This is really cool. This is a battery wagon. And right here, we've got some rations. It looks like some hard tack. And a uniform, and this talks about the prisoners of the Civil War. Playing cards, 
$5 bill and a sword, along with a small Bible that's dated 1863, New Testament. See what's over in this case. Items that they found on the battlefield. Looks like a bayonet. Looks look like buckles, breastplates. This right here is a wallet or a waist belt plate. Like a button. This was an artillery shell, lead mine ball that was embedded in a tree. And again, right here, you can see the lead ball in a tree. That's just crazy. All the different fragments left behind. This is stop number six on the tour. Again, what you do is you dial in and it tells you all about the different stop along the way. And this actually is the tower for the ornament that we got to commemorate state number 11. We have a running Christmas tree that I will do an entire video on probably this December that we get an ornament for every state that we travel to. So not only do we have our medals, but we also have the opportunity to collect Christmas ornaments. And it has to be something specific for the race or the state. So this one doubles up. There's different monuments and statues cannons everywhere and what's great about this is you get to actually go outside up inside and that's where we are headed again run 50 states my way you got to get out and enjoy things see things experience things one mile at a time all right, we're in 50 states my way. We are climbing the tower. This reminds me a little bit of the bell tower at Notre Dame. Coming down is going to be a feat for me, especially because it's dark <laughs> and windy twiny, but going up is not bad. <laughs> Getting our exercise on. Who will see you from the top? Well, run 50 states my way. That was a workout and a half. Oh, I'm still out of breath. But Ryan and I made it to the top of this amazing tower. And the view is just gorgeous. <laughs>